This is All Out Politics, now for The View, where we look at the opinion pages of today's papers and a few days appear to have done little to cool tempers about the High Court decision to insist the government consult Parliament over Article 50. And All Out Politics uh, has just broken the news that the government is looking at drafting a bill on uh, Article 50, not a resolution uh, that is uh, concurrently happening with appealing uh, in the Supreme Court against the High Court uh, judgment. That High Court judgment, the tempers are still uh, pretty strong about this in the papers. We're joined by guest Mark Wallace, who's the executive editor of Conservative Home. Yes. Well, I got that right. And Zoe Williams, who's a columnist on The Guardian. Yes. Great stuff. OK, so the first uh, piece we're going to look at is... Um, uh, Trevor Kavanagh in The Sun. Uh, that title is Anti-Brexit Judges Remain Delusional. In the Daily Mail, Dominic Lawson says the law really is an ass if it allows Brexit to be delayed. And the Times says we need more clarity from everyone on the way out. It says if opposition parties disagree with the government's vision of Brexit, they should offer more clarity about their own. Now, where do we think we are on all of this? process. Mark Wallace. Well, you know, it always seemed clear to me as a very enthusiastic lever that this court judgment the other day doesn't really change that much. You know, it certainly gives some opportunities for people to grandstand on, on either side and for people to get very het up about it. But really, when it comes down to it, MPs are going to vote for Article 50. They are going to vote for it to happen and we're, we're still leaving. So as a lever then maybe some of the anger that we see in some of these columns is a bit overblown. I think some of the anger is overblown, but also so, so is some of the excitement on the other side. It was quite interesting to look at my Facebook feed immediately after the judgment. It was like the day after the referendum again, except mm. the people who were absolutely devastated in, in a re really extreme way mm. straight after the referendum were now acting on the basis they'd, they'd been told by people this meant that Brexit could be stopped. That, that isn't going to happen because politicians, particularly Labour MPs, uh, who are challenged by this quite, quite value having a seat in Parliament. So when you see Trevor's piece saying that the judges remain delusional, Zoe Williams? What, I don't really agree with that. I don't think any Remainer thinks that we're remaining. I don't think anybody thinks that Article 50 won't be invoked. I don't think anybody thinks that there's any way out of this disaster, although I think a lot of people do think it's still a disaster. Um, this, I mean, I find the whole Kavanaugh line almost as kind of splenetic as if as if he'd lost the referendum. And it is bizarre, you know. As you say, the judge's decision doesn't change very much. It merely says that Parliament is sovereign. Now, the Leavers wanted sovereignty returned to British Parliament anyway. So to then become so angry when judges say Parliament must have a view is really illogical. I mean, by the same token, it's fair to say that people who a few months ago were saying that parliamentary sovereignty was this terribly old-fashioned idea that it wasn't all a bit awkward well, no, and no, 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 and no, now no, suddenly very excited that, about no, it. That's not what we were saying. Some we people never were said, saying that. Remainers never said parliament shouldn't be sovereign. Remainers it said, just said the people European, in Brussels who we don't let no, 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 you decide no, no, wait, on wait, 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 wait. We just said the EU does not actually threaten our sovereignty, our sovereignty in any meaningful way, which it didn't, and, and now sovereignty is threatened by the likes of Nigel Farage. So, you know, oh, we, on, we, were actually, we were actually very, very wedded to the idea of British parliamentary sovereignty, and now we're seeing ourselves having to go to court to defend the rights of parliament over an unelected prime minister. I mean, it's I, absolutely ridiculous. So, but sorry, the papers are allowed to, you know... Complain, complain, complain like, about yeah, the yeah, judges yeah, yeah, if yeah, they want to. And you know, there are bits that bit of free speech is okay. No, and no, 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 no. They are allowed to complain about the judges if they want to, to print pictures of them practically with a target on their faces saying enemies of the people. Obviously, they're allowed to do that, but there's a difference between what you're allowed to do and what you should do as a decent person. I don't think that Daily Mail headline was a decent splash. So I think it was moving indecent. on to the Daily Mail, we have Dominic Lawson saying that law really is an ass if it allows Brexit to be betrayed. And this goes to your point, Mark, doesn't it? it you know, people like Dominic Lawson are playing up the idea that this High Court judgment is, betra is a betrayal of Brexit. Why not just kind of get on with it, <laughs> go for the bill, yeah, it'll yeah, get passed yeah. in the Commons... The Lords will play around with it a bit. What's the, what's the great issue? Well, I, I think what we're seeing here is that there are fractious elements of both sides of this debate. You know, mm. I, I, as a Eurosceptic, I'm all too aware that there are, there are many people on my own side who can, can be over-annoyed about this. I think there are people still, I'm, I'm afraid to say, on the, other, on, on the well, Remain side who are... Well, it's interesting, though, are, that when you see the comment pages, I mean, you see both quite anger. reasonable, but you seem to be having a proxy argument know, uh, in terms of your kind of more I, I, I uh, extreme wings. So well, why don't this, we try and seek some consensus here? I find this really irritating, because you're constantly having to defend your own the Remain side against this 
apparent anger that we have. But when you look at the newspapers, all the anger, all the rage is coming from the people who won. And you think, you I guys, think why aren't you actually celebrating your victory and trying to do something constructive instead of talking about kind of screeching this and the law is an ass and, I mean, I, I you think know, it, I, I they're think acting it, I think like losers. I, I, in, in the interest of consensus, Faisal, as you said, <laughs> I, hopefully we can all agree that it, it, it's not the case that all the rage since the referendum has come from the Leave side. Who has been accused of all being old, okay, okay, let's talk, let's talk about some. You heard all, all let, of this. Let's talk about some actual specifics then. Let's yeah, talk okay. about some, I mean, the, the issue here, though, is that the reality is that some on your side are concerned that the, that the parliamentary process will create barriers or conditions or hurdles that you don't want. That's it's what's it, going on here, isn't it? Certainly. And, and you can see some people, um, not the vast bulk of Remainers, but what, yeah. what Dominic Lawson and I, I know taking up a phrase I've used, continuity Remainers, are hoping that this might frustrate or even cancel the process. And that is upsetting, I think. So, for example, if, the par if Parliament decided in its wisdom that something like EFTA or the EEA was a good way through even temporarily, well, you would see that as a betrayal. Well, I think there are two things to note. Firstly, this judgment has nothing whatsoever to do with the nature of our post-EU no, relationship. No, but Parliament will now have some sort of say and be able to put some sort of conditions well, on it, presumably. Parliament might try to, although I, I, I don't think that's what this judgment's about. But I also think we, there is a myth that's developing that leaving the EU is somehow... The single market was never discussed. It was discussed. The Leave campaign very clear about leaving the single market. The no, remain, no, 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 well, no, 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 no. Michael wait, Gove said he wanted to leave the single market. Many other I'm leavers sorry, you, always say... We don't have if to leave the single market. If you look at every single vote leave leaflet, take back control of our money, our borders and our laws. Those things are not possible in the single market. Hang on a second. The but nobody said take back, and nobody said leave the single market. If you're, this is listen, what it is. They did listen, say it. And the Remain campaign said it. They didn't say there that. Is a vote there is a vote leave leaflet that mentions Switzerland <clears throat> and Iceland as possibilities for Britain's relationship or as an example for Britain's relationship. Iceland is in the EEA. I mean, you're so if I if, if I read that leaflet and I thought I want yeah, yeah I want that, the Iceland I want Iceland. Yeah. That's in the EEA. Listen, I'm not saying no. no you're absolutely right about can, Michael Gove. You're absolutely, but, but I'm just saying it's a right bit about Michael Gove. Up. We, we you can, said the Leave campaign second, said it. We can look back. We can look back say. on the Twitter feed of a prominent journalist, one Faisal Islam of Sky News, that, yeah. that makes it Michael Gove now being very clear that we're about leaving. Yes, he was. No, but he was not leading the Leave campaign. So was the Prime Minister. So was the Remain campaign. No, excuse me. These things are these things are not possible. Controlling our borders, controlling our laws, controlling our money inside the single market. If we, could, if we could just stop saying the same thing again and again. In the well, I have to say it again and again until you, don't have to say it again <laughs> until you, until you stop disputing. Well, well, until I, I, I stop talking. Older. older. Yeah. <laughs> of course, far away. Stephen, okay. Stephen Phillips was a lead voter and he thought we should stay in the single market. He, he was, indeed. Yeah, and furthermore, in the Conservative manifesto, it's very plain that we're intending to stay in the, in the single market, whether leave win or not. That's the, uh, that's the actual promise in the Conservative no, manifesto. That's not what it says. Yes, it Should is. Should we move on to Labour? <laughs> yes, Let's move on to Labour. Let's get some clarity. You can check my <laughs> what is, I mean, what is going on with Labour? I mean, the, the Times here, well, with their enough. leader, uh, are asking for some sort of clarity, uh, and we're getting on. The reality is that, that uh, Mark's going to get his way because Labour are totally hopelessly split. Well, I mean, I, funnily enough, in the Kavanagh column, he just does a throwaway line about Corbyn, which I really disagree with, after all the kind of nonsense that he talks the rest of it, um, which is that Corbyn saying, I'm going to trigger an early election if you vote to leave the single market is both A, quite inconsistent because Corbyn is not a big fa fan of the single market and B, sort of self-defeating because he's in no position to fight an election at this point, you know, only 23% of I, men I, have We have talked so later. much that I just, a quick reflection on India. Do you think she can, she can make this post-Brexit thing work in India? It seems like more visas are required. I think this is it's a hugely exciting uh, early, early inside, but I think there may well be movement on student visas in particular. On student visas. Well, I'm in favour of, of bringing, you know, letting a thousand flowers bloom, so I'm really happy with what she's doing, but it's totally inconsistent given her own position on immigration. Well, course. a great discussion, no consensus yet, but maybe <laughs> one day we will get a 100% strategy rather than a 48 or 52.